Okay, I'm here with my friend Greg and he's brought me a budgie that he's mining that he has found uh, has a lump protruding from under the feathers on the on the chest here. So we're, I've just had a brief look at it and I found that there is or was a large scab which is here um, overlying the lump and I'm just going to remove that and the next step I'm going to do is to make a smear of it, of the surface of the lump, so that we can have a look at that in more detail. Um, I just need to have a little look at this birdie in other respects to make sure this is the only lump that it's got. Um, preen gland looks okay. The abdomen feels okay. There's a little bit of pododermatitis, a callus on the on the rear toe of the right foot that you might be able to see there and I think uh, yeah there's a little bit of callus on the left foot but not as much as the right so we'll just have a quick feel of those um, so I'm just having a feel now to see if there's any other lumps that I can feel Nostrils are clear, eyes are clear, um, body condition is good. Um, the lump feels as though it's about as big um, as we can see, uh, about nearly twice as big as we can see, so it's got a fairly wide base to it. Um, and I'm going to now moisten the skin with some Hibby Cleanse and um, part the feathers so we can get a a clearer view of what's going on. Okay. So I'm just using surgical hippotane skin cleanse to moisten down the feathers. so that we're better able to assess. So this is what I'd be doing surgically if I was operating on this lump. I'd be going through a similar process, only I'd also pluck the feathers. Um, it's a very firm uh, tumour that's consistent with a, a cancer in my opinion. Um, probably a cancer of a feather follicle. Um, I look at what I'm seeing down on this underside here now. So we'll just have a look at that, and then we might stop the audio, uh, the, vi the vi um, video recording, so we can take some photographs. So that's just pressing that button there. That All right, just coming back to this little birdie, we've taken some still photographs, uh, and now I'd just like to make a, a video recording of some of the points that I want to make. And that is that there are changes around the base of this tumour that extend out to here. You may be able to see the yellowing. There's a border between the yellow and it goes to there. And then it comes to here. Then it comes up to here. It comes up to about this point in the feathers. It comes down to about there. It comes to there and it comes to there and I don't know if those changes are the tumour starting to invade into the surrounding skin or whether it's part of the body's inflammatory reaction. I think it's part of the body's inflammatory reaction is what I feel. I feel that the actual cancer uh, boundary is around, I just point there, there there, there, there. So, usual process for me is to, um, in a case like this where it's growing rapidly and becoming ulcerated and starting to bleed, is to recommend uh, excisional surgery and I'd be sizing pretty close to the base of it. And that would normally be a general anaesthetic of course, and 
anti-inflammatory painkillers um, and then I'd be wanting to work on the detoxing this bird because I believe that cancers are very often um, associated with an accumulation of toxins interacting with viruses present in the body um, and interacting with other things with the immune system to result in this growth. So part of my management, assuming the birdie recovered f immediately from surgery, is and uh, woke up, etc., stayed alive, would be to detox this little birdie and to add dietary supplements that I give in the hope that they may um, help support the immune system and cellular communication. So currently I think we would be looking at, apart from the consultation fee, we'd be looking at an anaesthetic fee of about $110. We'd be looking at a surgical fee of about $100. We'd be looking at suture materials um, and disposals of about $30, a theatre fee of um, around about $50. We'd be looking at injections at about um, $50. We'd be looking at uh, antibiotics um, following surgery about $12.50 and we'd be looking at supportive care um, and supplements of about up to $100 if that was elected um, by the owner. We need to contact the owner fairly promptly to see whether he or she wants to go ahead with surgery. Um, another option that I'm considering um, is um, seeing if I can get a rubber band to go around the base of this tumour and get it to uh, gradually tighten around the base of it and maybe tie off the circulation to it. And that would be um, um, associated with discomfort for the first probably 20 minutes. Um, I would be combining that with um, some local anaesthetic and I'd be combining it with some DMSO and some bee relieved oil to reduce pain and inflammation. And that would be a much cheaper option, not necessarily a better option, um, with a better outcome, uh, with a less certain outcome probably, but it would be, to not my mind, an option that is an alternative to euthanizing the birdie if the owner can't afford the expensive approach or won't afford the expensive approach. So um, that's my general assessment of this birdie. We can do histopathology and bi biopsies and all that sort of thing if that's wanted. However, they will take the bill up towards $1,000 if we go down that pathway. And we don't have to do that to get results, at least in the short term. Okay, thank you.